Hello again guys, hopefully things are going well wherever you happen to be and whatever you happen to be doing. I turned on the camera today for one main reason, but I figured we would just sort of do most of the day at the same time. I have a date tonight, sort of, kind of, not really, but maybe. If you've been watching the vlogs for a while, you've seen him before. A friend of mine named Jason, well, he reached out to me the other day when we were driving to see my parents. Christina was going back and forth with him through text messages on my phone, and basically he said, my birthday's just happened and my wife got me tickets to see Neil deGrasse Tyson in Louisville, but she can't go with me. She's gonna be out of town. Do you want to go? In the car, my mouth dropped completely to the floor when Christina mentioned that, and I, yes, please, absolutely, let's go right now. <laughs> and that day has finally arrived. That day is here. We are going tonight to see Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you're not familiar with Neil deGrasse Tyson, let's just put it this way. I know of him. I've seen his work. I've seen his appearances and his YouTube videos and whatnot. I've not actually seen his show when he was on the remake of Cosmos, but he is just a brilliant man, and I definitely want to, I want to be in the audience there. So that's going to be an awful lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to that, so I thought I'd sort of bring you guys along with us if I if I can take the camera in. Other than that, what has been going on? Figure we might as well do a little bit of catch up here. Office looks a little bit different. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video that I made, we did the Ikea trip, ended up with this setup. I actually finally put up this card table, folding table, whatever you want to call it. It's a six foot table and I've been using it for a couple of videos now. The first of which I still haven't finished is for the Acton Blink S electric skateboard. First time I've actually ever ridden one. And this is a retail of like $600 skateboard that I got for about 350 bucks, thanks to Indiegogo. I'm also working on this video. That's why the table is up right now. This is the WL Toys A979, the last RC car that I've received, and I've actually, I received it sometime in the middle of December, so it's been sitting here for like three months. And I was trying to figure out a way to be able to make both of those videos all at the same time, because what's remaining of both of them is basically going outside and doing things. And I've pretty much run out of time for today, but maybe what I'll do tomorrow, when I've got some time, is take this guy, the GoPro Karma Grip with the GoPro inside of it, use it to capture some video of me riding the skateboard, ride the skateboard over to the park and around the park and whatnot, getting footage of it with this as well as with the camera that I'm filming this with, the Panasonic LX10, you know, get some shots of me riding by, get some shots from the board, like of me riding the board and then of the wheel, Casey Neistat style footage and whatnot. But then once we get to the park, I can pull out the GoPro, put it on my hat and drive the car around. So two birds, one stone kind of thing. And basically it would take like, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes to get over to the park, play over there for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, come back, take a lunch break and do that. Sounds like a plan, probably for tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit warmer tomorrow because it is a little bit chilly out right now. But other than that, it's actually about two o'clock in the afternoon right now. I've been working on day job stuff that, you know, that's what I do at this point. <laughs> Making some good progress. The, the stuff that I've been working on, again, going technical here for just a minute, feel free to skip ahead. I've managed to set it up so that I can run a command on a server, have it create a Jenkins server, a Jenkins build server for me, automatically pulls down all of its own configuration from Amazon, reinflates itself as it were, installs all of its own plugins, gets itself ready to work. Then there's another image that I can load up called Jenkins Swarm, where I can load up as many build agents as I want to and basically say, okay, you all point at this Jenkins server and whenever it gets completely overloaded, when there's a load of people trying to build stuff all at once, it sort of outsources it, as it were, to all of the clients, all of the agents of Jenkins. So that should definitely be pretty handy. There's actually quite a few other videos that I've been meaning to work on and just haven't quite yet. A while back I did a video on some amazing and expensive things that I found on Amazon, things that I found really useful from Amazon. I've got about a half dozen of those things, again, that I'd probably like to put into a video, and things that I've actually purchased as a result of wanting to make that video. It's kind of a catch-22 there. I bought things to use in the video, so I would have things to use in the video, and I'm making the video so that I could buy those things not complaining. You may have also noticed as I've been kind of moving around here, I've got the Nintendo Switch here in the background plugged into the TV, but there's something on the front of it. That's something for another video as well. There's an Etsy shop out there that sells Nintendo Switch covers, so I picked one up and I'm, I'm probably going to do a very quick what accessories am I using with my Switch type video. So again, things that I've purchased and I want to turn into a video and I purchased them for back and forth. It's not a bad thing. I've also still got the grand majority of things I need to make videos about inside of that coffee table and it's rapidly emptying out. Actually, just getting that RC car out of there emptied out like between a third and half of the space inside of that coffee table because the box was just so big. And the majority of the things left in that box now are things that I need to make videos about that I have purchased. So 
I can start using them. Anyway, rambling on and on, I'll come back at you if there's anything else interesting that happens or when we're on the way to go see Neil deGrasse Tyson in a little while. And that's a nice little bit of excitement, just walking on the treadmill here and getting some work done, but one of Christina's favorite bands of all time is Pentatonix. I love them as well. I've been following them for years. I actually, I think I introduced Christina to Pentatonix's music, so anyway, they've been touring. They tour all the time, and as it turns out, there's going to be a show later this year near us or close enough to us that we can get to it and it's on a weekend so we can actually get a babysitter we can get a family member of some form or fashion here so the kids don't have to go and sit through that and the tickets are up for pre-sale right now if you're one of their patreons so i'm now one of their patreons and i bought us tickets so christina's super happy and i'm excited about it and it does mean another fun video for you guys as well if you guys are interested in seeing that months and months from now we won't make plans that far away though and everybody is home and it's taco time Taco Thursday. Taco Thursday. Taco Tuesday on a Thursday. You want to be your taco? Just give it to me. Yeah, that's Ellis's taco. Duncan's watching Good Mythical More and they're trying all these strange addictive foods. And somebody's decided to try one of them. We have the ingredients here. Yeah. So we don't have any olives. Don't like but you olives. made three. It's a Dorito with a little tiny bit of mustard on it. Me, you, and Duncan. Nah, I don't know who you are. Dorito and mustardy. Keep in mind, this is the person that eats plain potato chips with mustard all over them. I don't really like nacho cheese Doritos, but with the mustard, it's better. It's good. That's weird. It's a strange combination of flavor, but it kind of reminds me of just like having a burger and the, the drippings from the burger hitting the, the chips on the side. So it's not completely unfamiliar. Let's see what Duncan thinks of it. It's good. I don't, I don't taste mustard. You didn't taste the mustard. She just put a little tiny, tiny bit. bit. Hmm. But anyway, it is time for me to get going. And skipping straight on ahead, we're here. There's Jason. Hello. Hello. I'll link to his Instagram down below. You should check out his light painting stuff and his steel wool and all of this ridiculously awesome stuff he does. But for now, to Neil deGrasse Tyson. And you guys have to see the lines. It's it's ridiculous. Well, the line is moving now. You didn't get to see it at its fullest, but uh, yeah. It was down the block, on both sides. And here's the place. I've actually never been to this place before. This is the Louisville Palace Theater. And it's beautiful here. We're good to go. All right. Yeah. I made the stupid mistake of forgetting to take my pocket knife out. Okay, now that's really cool. This is the ceiling. We'll zoom in on that. Look at all those faces. It's like creepy and amazing all at the same time. And here's the place. This is really nice. I'm always curious, uh, is there anyone here who is dragged here by the person next to them? And it is over, and actually, I was just telling Jason, I, I came into it not knowing what to expect, and was more than pleasantly surprised. I think even Christina would have enjoyed that. That, that was a good experience. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, and thank you. Thank you very much for bringing hey, it. Hey, it's good times. Yeah. And quite a while later, I've made it back home safely. Getting ready to head up to bed. I'll edit all of this together sometime tomorrow or when I have time. But just to sort of summarize, if you are at all interested in science, technology, engineering, math, physics, obviously, and you have the opportunity to see Neil Tyson speak, go for it. I am heavily invested in all of those fields and then some, and he touched on every single bit of it. I had no idea what I was going in for. And as it turned out, it was basically his take on physics and science and math and everything as it pertains to movies, television, beer commercials. And it was hilarious. It was entertaining. It was educational. It was just, I would do it all over again. He talked about doing another tour. He talked about a new book that he's got coming out. 
I am absolutely looking forward to every bit of it. If he comes back this way again, I'll be there. So thanks again to Jason. If you happen to see this video, thank you so much for taking me along with you. But thank you guys, as always, for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. Good night.